actual shit. Okay, dude. Hello. What is up, everyone? I'm trying to get situated here. It was really hard. I apologize. The lighting was really hard weird today. I don't know why. I couldn't get the lighting perfect, but I think you can see me, right? Welcome to the Weekend Preview. Today is July 27th, 2014. It is incredibly warm here again in Washington State. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, unprecedented here in Washington since I moved here, we're having a second heat wave. That's right. For the second time in a row in the month that I've lived here, they're having another heat wave. And you listen to the weather, oh, this is record highs, we never had it this hot before. I'm like, why the fuck couldn't it just keep out? You know, I left Connecticut to leave this kind of stupid bullshit, yet we still got hot stuff here. And it is what it is, I guess, you know. I gotta adjust to it and get used to it. But, uh, alright, so you might say to yourself... What's going on this week? Because, let's face it, everyone, I, said, I talked about this a few weeks ago, and, you know, it's finally here. Uh, new content. And I mean that, I don't mean new videos that I'm going to be putting out, or new games, because I am going to be putting out constant amounts of new games for you. The problem is, there's no new video games being released. Nothing. For whatever reason, once again, the game developers and marketing and all of their, their wisdom have decided that, oh, I guess we're going to take the summer off, because there's no game releases for almost a full month. Now, there are a few, and there's one called Sacred 3, there's one called Risen 3. All these RPGs are coming out during the summer that, honestly, I have no real interest in. I tried playing Risen 2 a year or two ago, and that game bombed. It was terrible. So, I really have no interest in playing the very few games that are coming out in the next few weeks. So, you might be saying to yourself, well, Phil, what the hell are you going to be doing then? Because, obviously, you need to work. But what are you going to be playing if there's no new game releases? And the answer is, we're going to be basically doing things that I've been trying to get to for years that I never had a chance to get to. So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, today. Today, I actually played Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I played with Akuma, and then I played with Yeef. And I handled it much how I used to. Where for, say, a two-hour stretch, I would only pick that character. I learned a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, I have to say this, I did terrible with Akuma. My reactions are awful. I just could not get it together with Akuma. I lost a lot more, way more than I won with Akuma. With Zangief, it was almost the opposite. It was like things were coming together. I was learning. I was getting bigger combos. I was learning distances for 360s. I was punishing. I was doing pretty well. And don't get me wrong, I did fail. I did fail and I lost a bunch of times. But it was nowhere near as bad as I did with Akuma, okay? So what I've decided to do is over the course of this week, you'll be seeing those videos being going live on DSP Gaming probably in the mornings. What I'm going to probably do, I played about 30 matches each with each character, and I uploaded 10 each today from each character. Every day this week, you'll probably see five new Akuma matches and five new Zangief matches. I'm warning you, like I'm giving you fair warning. The Akuma matches, I'm incredibly salty and I'm pissed off because I keep losing. I blame the game, I blame the internet, I blame the joystick, I blame myself a lot of the time too. I actually do say I fucked up, I suck, I'm, I'm so rusty, I can't do anything. And uh, so if you're not into that, if you're not into that rage level, you don't want to see that, then you're probably going to want to skip those videos. But the Zangief videos, on the other hand, are actually quite entertaining. They're a lot better, in my opinion, quality-wise, because I actually knew a little bit more with Geef. My execution was a little bit better. There's some impressive stuff in there that you'd like to possibly see. So definitely check out the Geef videos if you're not into Rage. You know what I mean? Not to say that there is none in there, because I did lose some, but nowhere near as bad as the Akuma stuff was. Now, immediately following this Week in Preview stream tonight... I'm going to be playing a bonus stream of Ultra Street Fighter 4 because I want to play with a third character. And honestly, some people are saying, well, why aren't you playing, like, for example, more Oddworld because you didn't beat that yet? And the answer is because I don't think I'd have enough time tonight to beat it. So rather than do an hour and a half quick stream of Oddworld, I'm going to do some more Street Fighter 4. It's more catered towards that kind of content, okay? And the neighbor's dog's outside barking. You can hear him. Um, okay, so that's going to be tonight. Now those videos, whatever character I choose are not going to be uploaded right away. I'll probably save those for the end of the week, so when the Street Fighter footage finally uh, runs out in a few days, then I'll upload those at the end of the week, so that way there's not Street Fighter overload and you're seeing 50 Street Fighter videos a day on DSP Gaming, okay? All right, so what can you expect this week new content-wise? Well, first of all, as I just mentioned, we've got a leftover. We actually have Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty, which was the HD re-release, remastering, redoing, I don't know if it's a rebooting, 
of the original Oddworld game from 1997 on the PlayStation. And, of course, I think it had a couple other ports as well. Uh, I've been playing it. I've been absolutely enjoying it. At the same time, it's probably, I said this all week, the game that I've died the most in. I failed a lot. But the game is fun as hell. It's trial and error. You, tr you keep trying, trying, trying until you finally figure out the proper way to complete the puzzles. Now, I'm near the end of the game. But I didn't think that an hour and a half would be long enough to beat it. So I've decided that that game will be tomorrow's first stream. Monday, first stream will be the conclusion of Oddworld. Okay? Then tomorrow, second stream, I'm going to be starting a game that I've actually wanted to do a playthrough of for years. And for all intents and purposes, I really couldn't do it for a few different reasons. But now, finally, I'm in a position where I could do it. And I could do it at really high quality. So, the game that I'm going to be starting tomorrow on second stream is Portal on the PC. I have Portal on Steam. I've had it for years. I played it when it was new. I loved it. I played Portal 2 afterwards. I loved that. Did co-op with John Rambo. But I haven't really had any opportunity to play that style of game in years. There hasn't been one. Let's face it. Portal has been defunct for a long time. And I really love the quirkiness of the game. The graphics. I can now play it at full 1080p. Full 60 frames per second on stream. You'll be able to see that. You won't be able to see it in the videos. Because YouTube still is not supporting 60 frames per second. But I'll be recording it in 60 frames per second. So you're going to see really high quality stuff starting tomorrow night with Portal. Okay? Tuesday. You might say to yourself, alright, well what's going to be... Is there anything new coming out this week? There is one thing that is new that is coming out this week. And that thing is, drumroll please, The Last of Us Remastered. This is supposed to be the definitive edition of The Last of Us, my pick for Game of the Year last year. Uh, it's supposed to be in full 1080p and run at 60 frames per second. Now, they actually said, the game dev said, they have the capability in-game to downgrade that to 30 if that's what you want. Now, who in their right mind, if you could get 60 frames per second, would say... I choose the lower quality, please. None of that top-notch stuff for me. I only like my 30 frames. I don't really get it. I think it's really stupid. Um, but at the same time, whatever. It's in there. I'm not going to be using it. So, yes, I want to try The Last of Us Remastered, re whatever it's called. Perfected. I don't know what the official name of it is. I've pre-ordered it at GameStop. That'll be the very first game I'm actually picking up at my local GameStop. So I'll be awake a little early that day to drive over there, pick it up, and head back here, okay? And then what you're going to see that day, first stream will be The Last of Us Remastered in 1080p and 60 frames per second on stream. So if you want to see the go-to place to see this game at its top performance, to see, gee, is it really good on PS4? We're going to we're gonna basically do it live and figure out, is it really as good? Is it worth a buy uh, graphically for the increase in graphics that we're going to have for this game? So... That's actually going to be my first stream both Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat the game. I actually don't remember how long my original playthrough of the game is. But more than likely, it's going to take more than that. And so that will continue later in the week as well as appropriate until we beat it. Okay? Now, what else am I doing this week? Because you might say, that's great, you're doing The Last of Us. But what about other content? Because you know a lot of people saw that playthrough. Maybe you don't want to watch it again. I understand. Okay? So... Later this week, first of all, the continuation of Portal until I beat it. So that's probably going to be a day or two on second stream. Then once Portal is completed, I am actually going to be beginning... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, another drum roll, please. Jack 2. Bum, bum, bum. My God, the sky is falling. I think Satan, Riel's above, just ripped out of the planet Earth. Right? Pigs are flying. Because, yes, I'm finally playing... Jack 2, the sequel to Jack and Daxter, and uh, I know it's been a ton of time since I played Jack and Daxter. There may be people who just don't care about the playthrough at this point because it's such an old game and it took me so long to get around to it, but I want to play it. Now, unfortunately, I've heard a few things about Jack 2. First of all, I heard that it's incredibly long. Second of all, I heard it's incredibly difficult. And I heard that a lot of people, when they played this game when they were younger, raged like crazy. Like, they just fucking lost it because the game is so incredibly hard in certain parts. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't rage quit the damn game. The one bad thing about this 
is that Jack 2 is the HD remake that they made, or the re-release, HD re-release from the collection a few years ago, but it's on PlayStation 3, and the reason I say unfortunately about this is because my PlayStation 3 doesn't work with my new setup. It doesn't work with OBS, which is the new program I use to stream. It doesn't work with the Avermedia capture device that I have. It just doesn't work with it. I don't know why. I could, I could actually capture... Um, emulated games on the PS3. So, for example, I was able to play Resident Evil 2, no problem with the new setup, but I couldn't play disc-related games. They just don't run, the video doesn't show up. Apparently, it's a known problem, and no one knows what their solution is for the problem, okay? What that means is that to play Jack 2, I need to use my old setup, which is my HD PVR 2. I need to use XSplit, which is my old streaming program. And I'll tell you right now, earlier, or last week, I played Dark Souls 2's DLC, Crown of the Sunken King, and the video had problems. The video was pixelated as fucking parts, and I was very frustrated when I was watching back the video, and I was like, this looked great on stream, and it looks like shit here on YouTube because the video is pixelated. What I'm going to try to do is find a solution for you. I'm going to try to up the quality of the videos, up the bitrate, tell it the process with more power from the processor, but unfortunately, being that this is the only situation that I have to use the old stuff, I can't promise you that these videos are going to be like amazing quality. And I hate that because this is my new office, my new setup, and I can't use the new fucking stuff because it just doesn't work with PS3 for whatever reason, which pisses me off. So, Jack 2 will start later this week, but let me explain how that's going to work, okay? Okay. So, you might say to yourself, how is this going to work? What days and everything? Here's the thing. This is kind of unprecedented, but I want to get you guys ready for it because this is going to probably be happening more and more. There's stuff that I need to do that since I've moved to Washington State, I just haven't had the chance to do. Personal stuff like get my driver's license switched over to this state. Get my car registered in this state. Get a, a goddamn haircut. All kinds of stuff that I need to get done. I just ha don't have time daily to do this stuff. So this Thursday, okay? This Thursday, which I believe, is it July 31st? Yes, this Thursday, July 31st, I am taking off. What I mean by that is I am not going to be live streaming at all this Thursday. It doesn't mean there will be no new videos on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, because as you know, when I do my streaming, especially today with Street Fighter, when I start playing The Last of Us, etc., I'm going to be doing longer first streams so that I have some surplus footage. So come Thursday, I'll have new videos to upload. It's not like it'll come to a drought and you'll have no new content that day on YouTube. However, there will be no live streams on Thursday. Okay? Just going to make that clear. Sometimes there's Hate Live, sometimes there's Ask the King. There's no vlog, no special vlog this Thursday. It's a bye week for us, Leanna and I, to go get personal stuff done, okay? So what that means is The Last of Us on Tuesday and Wednesday, probably Portal on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Once I'm finished with Portal, I'm going to begin Jack 2, okay? So probably Friday, you'll see The Last of Us and Jack 2. Probably Saturday will end up being all Jack 2. Keep in mind, Sunday, as I said, is going to be Street Fighter Sunday. So you're going to see a big stream of Street Fighter. Maybe my second stream that day after the weekend preview will be more Jack 2. That Monday will probably be maybe some Last of Us multiplayer teamed up with Jack 2. It all depends, okay? And then next week, there's going to be more retro games that I'm going to be playing, that I, games that I've said I wanted to play and never got a chance to play. But let's give it the week. Let's talk about that at the end of this week, and we'll figure out what we're going to play next week, you know, after a few days' time. And we, I think in my head, gee, do I want to play Devil May Cry 3? Do I want to play uh, the Hitman HD Collection? Do I maybe want to try a game like Divinity Original Sin? that people have been telling me to play on PC? Do I maybe want to do something completely different? What do I want to do? I got to think about it this week and I'll let it sink in and then later this week I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking, okay? So that's pretty much it when it really comes down to it. Let me reiterate again. You're going to have Street Fighter videos all week. Some of Akuma, some of Zangief, and then you're going to have whatever I play tonight is going to be much later on this week. Those will be released, okay? You're going to get... The conclusion of Oddworld, new and tasty, tomorrow. You're going to get a Portal playthrough on PC. You're going to get The Last of Us remastered in full 1080p, 60 frames per second on stream. 1080p, only 30 frames per second on YouTube, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about that. I apologize for that, that YouTube doesn't use 60 frames per second, even though I do on stream. Um, and then after all that, you're going to have Jack 2 
and there's probably going to be the beginning of a new retro playthrough come later on in the week, but I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. And of course, on Sunday, a new batch of Street Fighter on stream that will be the videos that will be uploaded for next week, okay? Um, some people have asked me, what is going on with John Rambo? I decided to give you guys another update. I will actually tell you exactly what he told me in text today so that you know what's going on rather than you're up in the, you know, uh, you know I don't get it, what's happening. This simple. I said to him, you know, how's, how's Schnasshole coming? Hopefully going well and almost done. People are asking every day when we're going to start up our stuff again. And John responded, I'm starting the show back again on August 6th, and I'm pushing hard to get the episode of Schnazman a Hole Punch out on August, uh, probably August 9th, but he's not sure yet. He'll keep me posted. And I just asked him, you know, how, how is he doing personally? And he says, things are all right, nothing really interesting going on. It's a, it's a you know, the dog days of summer. And I kind of said, yeah, it's the same. You know, for me, there's no new real games coming out, and this next month is going to be really slow. But it's actually surreal for me that I've actually lived in this home for a month now. It doesn't seem like it, because for two weeks, remember, I didn't have any of my stuff, so it doesn't feel like I've been here for a month yet. But, uh, so... Come August, everyone, I should have an update on the return of Smart Guys, on the, the beginning of our new show. We just need to get there, and John, unfortunately, is so slammed with work and with Shazman, he needs to finish that up first, okay? Now, the last thing that I want to talk about, and that'll be the end of the week in preview. Some people are, have, are interested in uh, the possibility of the green screen. As you can see behind me, it's still the wall, right? It's still the... the the white paint wall, it's not the green screen setup. And some people are asking me, gee, Phil, when are you going to work on that? When are you going to have that done? Well, the good news is the green screen has arrived. And actually, I had to buy some optional clips for it to clip it to the top of this rigging because after reading online reviews, people are saying the one problem is that the, the green screen doesn't have a very good attachment for the top of the rigging, so I bought some rigging clamps to do that, okay? As you can see right now, if I had a green screen behind me, I could have stuff behind me right now. It would work. But I just have not had a chance to work on this yet. The green screen also includes some studio quality lighting that I'm going to see if I can figure out how to work it and have it set up in here. Because right now, let's face it, the lighting, look at it, it's dark. The, the lamp isn't sufficient. It's bad lighting in this room. Once I have better lighting, these vlogs will look amazing, right? But I, don't, I haven't had a chance. The thing is, I'm so busy, like I said, every day. I'm awake, I stream, I eat dinner, I stream, I clean up and upload. I rest for an hour or two, I go back to sleep, and now I'm awake, and that's it. That's how every day's been. Boom, 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 boom. With the exception of yesterday, when I actually took some time to go out with Leanna, and we went out to dinner, and we went shopping. So every day is just so freaking busy that I haven't had a chance to mess with it. Here's hoping, hoping that this Thursday, the day that I'm taking off to do personal stuff, I'll have some time that day to take and mess around with the green screen and see if I can get it hooked up. Uh, assembled and working and see what it looks like okay I can't promise anything what I can tell you is I'm gonna damn well try to get that working and that hopefully we could check that out within a week or two and see how it works okay all right so that is it for everyone for the week in preview for July 27th I hope that res regardless of the fact that we're in the dog days of summer that there are no new real game releases yet any last of us sure but it's not a new game it's a game I've already played I hope that you'll still check out my content. I'm doing my best to entertain you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to get there. Once we get to the end of August, we're golden for the rest of the year. We're going to be just swimming in new content, fun games, great stuff. But we have to actually get there, and we've got a month to get through. And I really would appreciate it if you check out my content, regardless of the fact that it's not brand new games, because I need you. I do. I need your support. Now that I'm out here in Washington, I've got all these bills to pay. I actually just got an update from my mom regarding my old place in Connecticut saying it's almost done being renovated, probably another week or two, and it'll be done. And then my aunt's going to move in, and she's going to live there for a while. So I'm going to have all these extra bills coming in that I'm going to need to be paying, and I can't have a month with, oh, well, there's no new game, so I'll just see Phil in a month, you know? That would suck. I hope that I at least working hard enough and entertaining enough for you that you will come and check out my stuff regardless of the fact that it's not the biggest and newest stuff. But hopefully I will get a big surge at the end of, uh, starting at the end of August all through the hardcore gaming season, right? All right, everyone. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Thank you for watching, whether you watched on Twitch or on YouTube. I'm off to upload this, and then it's time for more Ultra Street Fighter 4, the third character of the day. I'm not sure who it's going to be. I'll think about it. But anyway, thanks. For this week in preview, I'm DSP signing off. I will see you for new gameplay tonight and all this week. Until next time, peace out.